Mark Gordon, goldenticker.com, on Friday, July the 19th, after the market closed. Taking a look at gold now, uh, we're up about um, almost 1% here. And uh, gold uh, uh, came down here uh, in late June and uh, hit a low of $1,179.40. And then has been rallying up ever since that and uh, for a couple of weeks now. And um, uh, got up almost to the $1,300 mark, just 30 cents shy of that. We've been kind of in a sideways consolidation uh, pattern here for about seven trading days. And um, uh, volume has been mostly light with uh, uh, one kind of heavy uh, volume down day here which quickly recovered uh, so um, you know sort of a consolidation handle I call it uh, we're still not out of the woods yet of course uh, gold has been in a nasty downtrend pretty much all year long uh, not being able to clear this all-important blue line which is the 50-day moving average and you can see it, it uh, had gotten up there uh, in uh, mid-march uh, uh, did not uh, crack it though uh, came back down pull back rally back again um, uh, tried to get up towards there, uh, couldn't do it. So uh, anytime we get close to this blue line, uh, we get turned away. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, that gets overplayed and, uh, and we can make a run out above it. Uh, our first stop here, though, uh, on the gold would be this Bollinger Band. If you look at this shaded area, this is a mathematical algorithm designed to keep prices within it 95% of the time. And that is currently coming in at the $315, I'm sorry, $1,315 mark, $1,315. So that'll be our next uh, point of uh, overhead resistance, we call it, a point where we could get turned back. Uh, should we clear that, then uh, it will be uh, the 50-day moving average at 1338 uh, that we need to get above. Um, a couple indicators uh, down below that are looking strong. Uh, this is your MACD on a daily basis. Uh, crossed over here um, uh, in uh, um, oh, around July 10th or so, and it has been uh, roaring up ever since. Uh, both, uh, both lines uh, are now uh, to the upside. Good, good uh, action there. Uh, we come down here to the stochastics. Uh, we're in the oversold, uh, I'm sorry, overbought territory here, which is typically not a great sign, but um, we've been up here uh, for about five trading days. Anything over three days is said to be uh, locked in, which is actually a good sign. Locked in stochastics means uh, that the market can run. Uh, should uh, the stochastics fall below 80, you could see a pullback in the market. But for now, uh, the stochastics indicator and the MACD indicators are both very strong. Uh, coming down here to uh, unbalanced volume, which measures the amount of money flowing in or flowing out, that has been stable. Um, actually up off the bottoms here and getting above the 20 mark here um, <coughs> which uh, 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 may cause uh, some more money to flow into the gold uh, uh, so some certain indicators looking good uh, I'd like to see some a uh, good up volume here uh, some commitment by traders to the market uh, clear uh, certainly clear uh, the uh, $1,300 mark and uh, uh, make way for a move up uh, should we pull back uh, we'll uh, probably find support down here uh, at the red line, uh, which is the 21-day moving average, and then further support down here at the $1,200 mark, which is coinciding with the lower Bollinger Band. So still in a downtrend, though, folks. Um, uh, your intermediate term trend is down. Your long-term trend uh, I is uh, actually up. Um, uh, uh, if you look at the uh, monthly charts uh, on, on the gold. But uh, we've been in an intermediate term downtrend for quite a long time now. And uh, um, uh, your very short term trend, I would just call it neutral. Uh, so waiting to see if we can start uh, uh, getting above the 50 day moving average, turn that line up and get something going here. It's about time. Seems like it's been a couple of years we've uh, been correcting in the gold markets. But uh, for now, uh, patience is key. Um, you know, uh, certainly if you're a bear on the markets, a break below this little consolidation might give way for a little bit of profits to the downside. A break above it, uh, <coughs> um, I would not get too excited about until I don't really like to trade markets that are in downtrends and not above this 50-day uh, moving average. So that's just my personal philosophy on that. So I'm just sitting patient. All right, so thanks for listening and good luck, everybody.